bracelet, the first thing you want to do is cut a piece of ribbon. This is about six and a quarter inches, which is the right length for me for a bracelet. And then to turn this ribbon into a bracelet, we need to put little ends on the ribbon. This is called a crimp end or ribbon end. And it's just a little folded piece of metal that has little teeth in it. You want to pick one that's the same width as your ribbon. And to secure that, we're going to use a little craft glue. We're just going to put a dab of the craft glue inside our little crimp end here. Don't need much to secure it. Just put a little bit of glue inside there. And then we're going to take the ribbon. And there's no upside or downside, so it doesn't matter which side you put in. They're, both sides of the crimp end are the same. We're going to slide the ribbon into the crimp end there. I'm going to hold it with my thumb. And then we're going to use a tool that's a chain nose plier. This is a general jewelry tool. You can do a lot with it. And I'm just going to flatten the crimp onto the ribbon there. Press those teeth down together so they're kind of pinching that ribbon. I'm going to pinch it and pinch it. I'm going to turn to the other side. I can feel that the ribbon's still moving around a little bit and pinch it and pinch it. I don't want to just give it a great big smush because it could dent this piece of um, metal, the ribbon end here, but I do want to make sure that that ribbon is in there securely. And that feels pretty good. So just going to repeat on the other side. Same thing. I'm going to take the crimp end here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. This is E6000 glue. I'm going to tuck that ribbon end into the crimp. The crimp is um, pretty hard, so you can't close it with your fingers like that. So I've got to use my tool, the chain nose pliers tool. And I'm going to just flatten that down and press those teeth together. This is the most important part because if you don't get a good connection between the top teeth and the bottom teeth, if it's not biting into your ribbon, and that um, glue maybe isn't holding or something, it's going to come loose. And that's the whole thing that's holding it together. So that feels pretty good to me, but I can still slide it out a little bit. I'm going to slide it back in there and give it another harder crimp. But again, I'm trying not to dent this piece. So that's on there pretty good. Now we've got our ends on our ribbon. We just want to put on a clasp. And we've chosen a magnet clasp for this. It looks tiny. This is a really strong magnet clasp. If your magnet clasp isn't very strong, you could catch the bracelet on something and it would just come apart and you could lose your bracelet. So to put the magnet clasp on the end, we're going to use a jump ring. This is a jump ring that has a split in it. It's not soldered closed, so we can open it. And to open it, we're going to use two pairs of pliers. We have our chain nose pliers that we used before and then I have round nose pliers, I use those a lot, so I'm just going to use those as my other pair of pliers. I'm going to bend the jump ring by opening it with one side going away from me, this side, and the other side coming towards me. And what that does is, instead of opening the jump ring this way, which makes it not a circle anymore, opening it this way, it still remains a circle, but it has an opening. And now I can take that circle end and put it through the end of my ribbon crimp here, and I can put one end of the clasp on there. And then I'm going to close it the same way. I'm going to take one side of the jump ring, that magnet's grabbing onto my <laughs> pliers, and I'm just going to push it back together so it's nicely closed. You can put a little drop of glue on that opening in your jump ring just to secure it a little bit more. I'm going to skip that for now. So I can show you putting on the other side of the clasp. It's a repeat of what we did before. I'm going to grab the jump ring with two pliers, rotate, kind of like opening a gate. It's more like it swings open. Slide on my uh, end of my ribbon, slide on my magnet clasp, grab it again with my two pliers, and swing that jump ring closed, just like that. I can press it here at the end. I'm pressing the jump ring across so that the whole jump ring is inside the pliers. I'm not pressing it 
this way, which would mush the shape. It wouldn't be round anymore. And that's how you put ends on the ribbon. And then just for fun, why don't we just put a little decoration on there since we have our glue. We have this little cute little filigree. You can buy these at the at the jewelry section of your craft store. Put that in the middle. And this uh, jewelry glue is great, or E6000 or craft glue. These glues work really well, and they'll hold this on there. And then we also got this little resin rose. This is actually from the scrapbooking section at the craft store. And there we have our little bracelet made out of ribbon. Mm -hmm.